Balance Beehive. Today I want to talk about the anatomy of an oboe reed. This quick tutorial will teach you the parts of the reed and what function they serve so that not only can you teach those things to your students, but you can feel more comfortable knowing exactly how an oboe reed functions and even maybe how to adjust to help your beginning oboe students. To talk about the different parts of an oboe reed, I'm going to use this close-up photo of a medium strength reed from Charles Double Reeds. The very edge of the reed is called the tip. You can usually see this upside down V shape where the tip ends. This is the thinnest part of the reed. If the reed is stuffy or slow to respond, the tip may be too thick. The part of the reed behind the tip is called the heart. If there's too much cane left in this section of the reed, it may be difficult to blow. Behind the heart, the center of the reed is called the backbone or spine. There is more cane here than on either side. If you hold the reed up to the light, you should be able to see it clearly. As with the backbone, you can clearly see the windows of the reed when you hold it up to a light source. The cane should be thinner here. If the reed is sharp, one possible adjustment is to remove some of the cane from this part of the reed. You'd want to scrape equally from both sides of the backbone and on both blades of the reed. On the outside of the windows are the shoulders, or rails. This part of the reed is thicker. The cane should not be scraped equally from the windows all the way to the edges of the reed. This part of the reed is where the cane has been tied to the staple. Students should place their fingers on the thread to put in and take out the reed from the well. This is the staple. The cork part is what goes into the instrument. The metal part of the staple is where the cane is tied on with thread. This is the area where students should use cork grease if the reed is difficult to put into or take out of the instrument. I hope this information is helpful to you and you can feel confident in passing it on to your students. Now that you have a little bit more background about how a reed works and what exactly all of the parts are, you can help your students to make some adjustments which can directly impact their playing. Check back here for more beginning band content next Wednesday. Until next time.